In this video, I'm going to go over the next uh, type of push button. So if we go up to Objects, Push Button, and we're going to go to Maintained. Again, we're going to click on the Maintained, and then you're going to see that it says M-A-I-N-T button beside the cursor, beside the pointer. So we're going to click and drag and make us a, a button. So now in the Maintained buttons means that just like we have on our uh, panels, it's more like a selector switch because they're maintained. Uh, but you can have maintained push buttons, but generally they're going to be in the form of a selector switch. Uh, but anyways, what that means is that when we press the button and it changes the uh, tag uh, to a 1, uh, it means it's going to stay to a 1. And it will not change state back to a 0 until it's pressed again. <coughs> Excuse me. So, with that being said, you're going to also see that this one here also has general and common tabs. Again, that is important to remember that you'll always see general and common tabs with every object we do. So as we get into this, I'm not going to continue going over the, if the same thing. So the border style, the back style, the, uh, the shapes, uh, the current state. Now this right here is a little bit different, but basically it's going to be based off the current state. Uh, we're going to leave that there as default all the time. There is a few instances uh, we won't be using in this class for value control, so we'll be using current state, which means that basically it's going to use this state to stay in it. So when it goes to a 1, it's going to stay into a 1 until you tell it to do something else. That's all that means. So anyways, the, board, the border control colors, all that kind of stuff stays exactly the same. So uh, the one thing I will show you is that uh, the states, that all stays the same as far as being able to caption uh, if you want on state zero, just like in the momentary push button. Uh, if you want uh, the one up uh, to uh, be in the start uh, when it's actually off, this tells you that it's a start button. So let's just say that. Click apply. And then let's just say, okay, let's make that there like a 14 size font. Uh, the one, then the state one means that this is going to be the button that's going to turn it uh, off. So we're going to say that there is the stop. So we're going to click apply. And as you see, when you go to state one, you can have a separate color for both both ways. So in the stop, you can change the font size where it's different. You can make the caption blink, which the caption is the, the text. You can make that blink. You can make it bold. Uh, so there we are. We go back to here. We're going to make the text bold. So you'll see. So when it needs to start, you'll see that it's actually green and says that it's able to be started. This is where you press to start. And then when it's red, it's actually going to tell you that it's running and this is where you press it to stop. So it's kind of almost reverse, uh, but this is uh, typically uh, the way that it's done. Uh, the e-signature, uh, this page here, this tab right here, we will not be using uh, in any of the objects that we use. So here are the general tab. This is where we'll kind of do a lot of the appearance of the uh, objects. States, you'll find some uh, things that have more states than others. But right here, we only got two states. Uh, E-signature, we won't use. Common tabs are all the same. Means that the size of the object and the placement of the object and the name. So if you remember, the other one said momentary push button one. This one says maintain push button one. So just remember, it looks very similar, but it, this is a maintained, and the other one was a momentary. Uh, you want to make sure that it stays visible. And up here, again, if somebody asked you, do you know what type of button that is? This is where you would find that out. This right here says it's a main. So if we're like this right here, and someone tells you, asks you the question, uh, what type of push button is this? So if I gave you a picture... Or I, or I gave you a file and I told you I want you to label this one, you know, tell me what type of button this is and this one and whatnot, or whatever type of object it is. If you double click on it or right click on it and go to properties, either way, it'll open up the properties panel. And here, right up here at the top, you'll be able to find out what type of object it is. So you won't have to do any guessing. So we have the general tab that we're getting very familiar with by this point. We have the states tab. The e-signature tab, which we're not going to do anything with with any of the objects, so just ignore it. The common tab, which we already know very well now. And the connections tab. The connections tab we can't do much with in the video, uh, but we'll do more in the lab setting. But again, this is where you're going to tie it to something in your program 
with your processor so that you can actually tell the HMI to tell a certain tag in the processor to function. So instead of using a hard uh, input on a push button on the outside of our panel, we're going to use one off the HMI. This is how it talks to that spot or that instruction in your program right here. This is how it knows where to go to. Okay. So anyways, that there is about it. Uh, again, just like moving objects around, as long as it's selected, you can move it around. Uh, you can move groups of things around. So if they're all selected, you move them all at the same time. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So this video right here was short, and I'll have uh, at least one more video on the push buttons uh, showing you the ramped. So be on the lookout for that video. Thanks.